Friday. Come along with Diane Sawyer for a special that could change your family's future. Two stunning experiments, 15 cameras rolling, capturing kids, and the temptation to play with guns. Oh, my God. The Diane Sawyer Special with David Muir, Friday after Shark Tank on ABC. Hello to our fans online. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez with the top stories on this Wednesday, January 29th. First, a big thank you to our Facebook fans. There are now 250,000 of you who like our page. So thanks for liking us, hanging out with us in these early morning hours. That's right. We like you too. Well, it's been a tough morning for people in Atlanta, especially for some school kids. Hundreds of them were stranded in their classrooms overnight after a dangerous winter storm made a mess out of the roads. The Atlanta public school system called an emergency shelter in place order for students and staff. As of late last night, there were nearly a thousand car accidents on Atlanta roads. Georgia's governor has activated the National Guard to help clear the roads and help those stranded motorists. And President Obama delivered a relatively modest call to action during his State of the Union address. He called for a higher minimum wage, equal pay for women, and immigration reform, among other priorities. All right, first, Pope Francis was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, then fronting this week's issue of Rolling Stone. All right, well, now he's got his own graffiti. Check this out. Super Pope graffiti popping up all around the Vatican, including uh, this wall here near St. Peter's Square. The artist is identified only as Mao Pal. The Vatican Communications Office means Meantime, put its stamp of approval on the image, even <laughs> tweeting a photo nice. of it. How about Approved that? graffiti. How about <laughs> that? And this from one of South Africa's national parks. You see a pair of lions in the middle of the road getting plenty of attention from tourists. Then two youngsters who had been taking pictures get the fright of their lives. Take a look. Ooh, how about that? Oops. The lions then headed off into the bush. Ironically enough, uh, you know, one of the rules of the park says, quote, no part of the body may protrude from the car, either through the window or from a sunroof, and that lion is reminding those two kids. Yeah, probably a good rule to have around there. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with the lions. All right, get more news anytime from ABCnews.com. I'm Ryan Smith. And I'm Marcy Gonzalez. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. It's the costliest Winter Olympics ever. But did top Russian officials pocket money for themselves from those billion dollar projects? Where did the money go? Who got all that money? Brian Ross investigates, was there mass corruption at Sochi? Tonight on World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC.